The top comparisons between the Gulfstream G700 and Global 7500 jets. Hello everyone, welcome to How to Spend It. Today we'll be comparing two stars of the private jet universe. The new Gulfstream Jet G700 and Bombardier's Global 7500. But before we go on to that, Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out a lot. Also, make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out the most surprising thing about these two jets. It will be worth it, I promise. And so, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Which business jet will you choose for your next private air charter? The Bombardier Global 7500 or the Gulfstream G700. Choosing the best aircraft for your travels is not easy. Big names like Bombardier and Gulfstream have made it particularly difficult to choose between so many amazing options. So, we are going to compare them on an even playing field. Even though the Gulfstream G700 is only a bit newer compared to the Global 7500, that doesn't necessarily make it the better aircraft. Both models have an impressive flight range, speed, size, and onboard amenities. So truly, you can't go wrong either way. Maximum flight range. One of the biggest things to consider when choosing any private jet is how far you can travel in a single trip. Both the G700 and the Global 7500 were built as extra long range craft, and there really isn't a huge difference between the two in their range capabilities. There is only a range difference of 200 nautical miles between the two aircraft, but the Global 7500 wins this round. Bombardier found an extra 200 nautical miles of range before the first Global 7500 took flight in 2016. There is always a chance that Gulfstream will do the same with the G700 by the time it's delivered in 2022. In October 2019, a Global 7500 flew non-stop between Sydney, Australia and Detroit, Michigan. That's just over 8,200 nautical miles, making it the longest flight ever recorded by a purpose-built business jet. The jet had surpassed its own range by some 500 nautical miles. Pilot Safety Systems The G700 is one of the first non-military aircraft to feature active side stick controls. Other features of the award-winning Symmetry flight deck include intuitive touchscreen avionics paired with trademarked phase of flight intelligence. This all equals a reduction in the pilot workload and the aircraft startup time. With almost 14,000 hours of lab tests and the incorporation of five test aircraft into one production jet, the G700 safely and surely operates on short, weight-restricted and high-altitude airport runways. Bombardier's Vision Flight Deck Fly-by-Wire control system is a dream for pilots because it makes it easy and fun to be in the sky. The system doesn't allow for operations outside the flight envelope and banking and turning are things of beauty. Any worries about runway approaches in gusty crosswinds are put aside as the onboard controls make landing intuitive and maneuverable. Takeoff distance. The clear winner is the Global 7500 when it comes to takeoff distance. At 5,800 feet, the Global 7500 needs 480 feet less runway space than the G700 in order to get airborne. Perhaps this doesn't seem like much at first blush, but being able to tackle shorter runways means more travel options and opportunities, depending on where you want to go. Speed When it comes to comparing the speed between the Bombardier Global 7500 versus the Gulfstream G700, there is actually no comparison. It's a tie, as both aircraft can travel up to a maximum speed of Mach 0.925. They both have the same high-speed cruise and long-range cruise speeds too. 
cabin size. The Gulfstream G700 and the Global 7500 are the industry's biggest purpose-built business jets, leaving little room to complain about living space. At almost 57 feet, the G700 cabin is about 2.5 feet longer and slightly taller and wider than the Global 7500. But both options allow for plenty of movability and comfort. Layout obviously plays a role in how big the space really feels. The G700 may have the advantage as it can be outfitted to include five separate zones compared to the four currently offered by Global 7500. Both models can carry up to 19 passengers comfortably, so no disadvantages there. Cabin Amenities Having just discussed the size of the cabin, what will you find inside both jets? To be honest, both the G700 and the Global 7500 offer many of the same options, but with their own terminology. Acknowledging that recycled air is not something you really want to be breathing in during your flight, both Gulfstream and Bombardier have come up with their own solutions. On the G700, fresh air will circulate throughout the interior every two minutes. Bombardier's Pure Air is a sophisticated air purification system that offers both purified and 100% fresh air. The G700's five living areas means there is space for work, leisure or a world-class meal, thanks to the extra-large 10-foot Ultra Galley. The master bedroom suite has an optional add-on of a master bathroom with spa shower, two windows and a wardrobe closet. On board the Global 7500, there are four living spaces, a full-size kitchen and a dedicated crew suite. For those long overnight flights, a master suite with a permanent bed ensures sweet dreams in the clouds. Seating, especially if you're going to be on a long flight, is of key importance. Gulfstream is proud of its extremely roomy leather seats, which can also be converted into beds. Bombardier's new ergonomic nuage seat uses a track and swivel system which allows for smooth movement and a better recline, encouraging an overall cradling feel. In addition, passengers and crew on both aircraft will arrive at their destination with reduced jet lag thanks to circadian lighting systems which mimic sunrise and sunset. Feel ready to hit the ground running once you land. Purchase Price How much to shell out for your new jet? You buy your own Gulfstream G700 for $75 million, while the Global 7500 comes in at $72.8 million. At a glance, a measly $2.2 million might not make much of a difference when it comes to high-end aircraft. It's just a 3% difference in price after all. But even some will agree that $72.8 million feels easier to fork over for the Global 7500 than the psychological barrier of the Gulfstream's $75 million sticker price. Our final thoughts? Like every tough choice in life, there always needs to be a give and take. Choosing between the Gulfstream G700 versus the Bombardier Global 7500 isn't making much of a sacrifice either way in quality. However, it largely comes down to what you value more in a private jet – space or price and distance. The Gulfstream G700 trumps the Global 7500 on cabin space, while the G700 is less expensive to purchase and can fly further than its counterpart. In the end, the choice is entirely yours, based on your needs and expectations. And perhaps your wallet. Well, that's it for this video. I don't know about you, but I have definitely got the strains of Come Fly With Me on a continuous loop in my head. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many more great videos coming up. See you soon in the next edition of How to Spend It. How to Spend It.